you're looking at here the Sabor. It's a 1991 Catalina 42. Purchased just last year from a couple, young couple, that had big plans to travel the world with her, get her fixed up to go. The owners before her uh, were a uh, older couple that owned her for 20 years. So as it goes, when you have a owner of 20 years or more on a boat, expect to find a lot of deferred maintenance. And this one was no exception. The current owners had done a number of projects on them. Some of the major work that they were able to get done in the year they had her was uh, fix the Catalina Smile. It was there and have the keel bolts tightened. Um, and then they were able to reseal all the stanchions as well on the deck to make sure that she was watertight. But the deck is in fine shape. Um, the boat itself is in fine shape. It is a boat with needs, I'd qualify it as, uh, as opposed to any kind of project boat. It's far from a project boat. All the same, they are asking virtually for what they got her for 82.5. And um, our motivated sellers. Here's the deck here. Comes with this fine 10 foot inflatable and a motor on the back. Down here you got the chain locker. Electric windlass. It's in good shape. Chains have a little bit of rust on them, but they're really in fine shape. Furled mast. You can see this blue line right here. This is brand new running rigging. They were able to get to some of the running rigging on the boat, but not all of it. This sail was the sail that came with it. And you can kind of see up there, um, a little flap in the wind there. That's a tear in the weather guard that occurred when we had a winter storm. Um, this last winter. You can see again some staining on the deck here. Again, just to, a, a note that it's a 30 year old boat and that's just an example of some of the wear and tear that occurs with that. Furled sail, furled main. Again, the main is used. You can see this furler. Well, you can't really in the video, but it's used. Most of these lines are used lines. Now, they're still good and uh, they'll be fine, but they are far from new. Um, but they're far from wasted as well. Kind of like the canvas here, which is actually in terrific shape, but it is um, older, maybe about four or five years old. Um, some of the Velcro on here and the zippers uh, need to be repaired. Not all of them, but, uh, but some. The glass is in terrific shape, some uh, staining on the glass, but again, um, very clairvoyant and uh, very good. This here being the cockpit, uh, actually meant to demonstrate the, um, demonstrate the chart water. So let me just bring that up for a sec before we get into the inside of the boat. Cockpit here. You've got a unit for an autopilot there. However, it does not work. So autopilot needs to be replaced. Here's your Yanmar ignition. And this right here is your GPS or your Garmin uh, 4212. So it works just fine. Splits radar and, um, and GPS chart plotter. Does all the things. It's not touch screen, but, um, but works great. So, this here being the cockpit, let's go down to the cabin, which is what these Catalina 42s are really revered for, is their fantastic layout and spread. Here you got the salon area, along with the galley to the port side, head and aft cabin to the starboard. Nav table, and little sate area here. New Dixon uh, propane stove. Um, sorry, propane uh, cabin heater works great. Heats this place up just fine. 
It does have a Webasto that I'll show in the next video, and um, but it has a unit that needs to be replaced on it. Take you into the fore cabin and the rest of the boat on the next tour.